Eh, where you say family? Yes, me tea, tea. You know, today I has cooked some, some food that, uh, you know, my sister, she not too fond. My kids, they, she not, they not too fond either. But you know, I'm gonna make it anyway. For my island family out there, y'all let us know. Let's see, both my parents, they're from Panama. And, but this is one of them island dishes, you know, it's salt fish. Mm, I see some of y'all light up when I say salt fish. Yeah, yeah, you know. I see, my mama, she don't make it with Aki. No, but it's still, it's still good just the same. Now, you know, it was a, it was a dish that, you know, wasn't for the rich people. It was for the people. You just know what I say, right? All right. So, now, you know, I'm a big fan of Chef Ramsey. Ramsey say, okay, okay, it's a nice, humble it's a humble dish. But now what are you going to do to elevate it? Hmm. You just want me to elevate this dish. Aight, aight. Me just going to elevate it for you. True, yeah, yeah, true. Mm -hmm. So, you guys ready? Alright then, family. Let's go. Hi. My name is T. I am not a chef. Actually, I'm a truck driver. And I don't drive food trucks, I drive a semi. What I'm about to do is show you how to do what I do on my truck. Welcome to your favorite new food show, Big Taste in a Small Space with me, T. So now family, I'm gonna elevate this dish and cook it quick too. You take some salt fish, just a few pieces, put it in the pot. And I'm going to put a little bit of water in the pot too, you know. I'll put two, two bottles two of water right now. Heat that up, get some clams, put some water in your clams so the clams spit out them dirt. Yeah, 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 yeah. And um, next we're going to take some asparagus. You know I love asparagus, it's real good for the body. You cut the asparagus, you cut the, the ends off, you make it into nice small pieces. The tips you keep whole. Put that aside. Yep. And you get some uh, broccoli. Little pieces of broccoli. I pick them off. Yeah, I pick them off. And then, uh, you know, whatever one's not too small, you put them aside, you cut, you cut the big ones up, get the ends, you split them down. Put them pieces of the ends with the with the asparagus ends. Get you some mushrooms. I like portobello mushroom. Them good for you. They're good for your belly. Mm-hmm. This is the prep work you do while your salt fish boiling. Because you gotta boil that salt out there water. But now we're gonna be smart with this. We're gonna use that salty water and not use any other salt. This is uh, you know, green onion, spring onion. You just need one. You cut down the, the the bright part. Get you some thyme. You pick off some thyme. You gotta have some fresh freshness in there. Some fresh items in there. You know, some roots. Some some yeah. You guys know what I say. So now you put that aside for a minute. Check your fish. Your salt fish. You don't want the water to boil over because all that salt coming out it make a mess of your kitchen. I may add another. Another bottle of water, let that boil out some more. Because that salt fish is so, so penetrated with the salt, you know, give you high blood pressure unless you boil it out. And you get one of my, two of my favorite, uh, you know, sweet pepper. Cut them up in ring. Now, the fish, the fish the, should not boil out salt out the fish by now. But that water, that salty water, we're going to be smart with this. We're going to use the salty water and we're going to put, put something in the salty water. So mind you, mind what I use. Watch me. This is a yam. Mm-hmm. Get your yam. It's just for me, so I only need a small piece of yam today. You know, take the outside of yam. And when you cut your yam, you know, be careful, but the yam, she going to turn brown quick unless you put it in the salty water fast. So you cut the yam up, break it down to smaller pieces. And you put the yam in the salty water. 
while it's boiling. Yep. And then you get a piece of yuca and you do the same. Now you could come with this uh you come with this waxy skin on the outside. They just put the wax on it to keep it fresh, to keep it transport, so it'd be good when you get some. Cause mine you could go buy fast. You could go buy real fast on you. So you cut the little end, you cut down the yucca, and you also put that in the same pot of water. Now the water is boiling. It boiling the salt into these vegetables, into the roots, you know. You know, you go to a West Indian restaurant, you ask for food. They ain't gonna look at you crazy. They know when you want food, you want some, you want some yucca, you want some yam, you might want some dumpling, instead of just the rice and peas. So I go, usually I just go and ask for food. But if they don't have the food, you know, I get the rice and peas anyway. Now you let that come to a boil. You check to see if it's tender or not. You know, fork tender. If it's almost tender, it's good. It's good, it's good. Let it boil a little bit more. And take the pot off the, off the stove. You know me, I only have one stove. So you get you another pan, a little fragging pan. You break up your salt fish, they boil, it cool down there, you can touch. You break down the fish, little small, small pieces. Because even though we didn't use a lot, that fish got powerful flavor. Now to elevate this some more, you see that I put the, the clam on the side. But I have some shrimp too. Yeah, sir. So I just peel the, the end off the shrimp, the tail portion. Put the back, put the tail, put the shell in the bag, put the bag away. Put this out the way for a minute. Now, once you, your pan get hot, you put a little olive oil. You put some chili garlic in there. Yeah, this is where it's not traditional, because like I said, I gotta pick up something soon. So, I know the island people gonna be like, what's this he use? What is this? Well, this is the shortcut. I don't have time to break down the tomato. I don't have time to break down the onion tonight. So put some of that, uh, you know, the thing you dip the, the, the chip in, put it in here. You add your fish. You add your yam and your yuca from the pot, from the salt water pot. You put it in here. They just think I'm crazy, but this thing gonna be so good when you finish. Mm-hmm. And you add your end from your asparagus and your broccoli. And after a while, you add your mushroom and a little more water. Because like I said, we're not going to add no salt to this dish. We're going to use the salt from the fish that we take out. Add a little pepper. Usually I like to put a scotch bonnet, but like I said, me, I don't have no time tonight. We got to work. We got to work. Man always got to work when he don't eat. And you know when this man got to eat. And a little more salt water. It's not just to give it the salt, but to give it some sauciness. Because the sauce going to go away. Then I add my little four clams. You put that on the heat, put the cover on it. Every now and then you come, you check, you stir, you stir, you stir. Mm-hmm. You check again, you stir, you stir. When you see a clam starting to finally open up, that's when you put the rest of your vegetables in. And after you put your vegetables and stir a little bit, then you're gonna wanna put your shrimp in. Shrimp last thing to go in. Cause you know shrimp gonna take two, three minutes to open, to, to cook. When the clams start opening, the vegetable and shrimp go in. Cause you want the, the, the vegetables and the shrimp to have some texture. You don't want no mush, mush, no. No, you don't want no mush food. So now, once you stir that a little bit, clam should be open by now. Shrimp should be done and bam, is what you have. Now you have quickly prepared, elevated, Soft fish with some other seafood and some food, you know, some yam, some yuca. You have some some asparagus, you have some broccoli, you have some mushroom, some sweet pepper, some hot pepper sauce. And I know some of y'all say that it's not the traditional way. Ah, cha, you know what I say? Me no traditional man. Me a man to make good food. You know, feed you. When you taste it, you know. Ha, 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 ha.